Do you Ubuntu? I do. Well, at least I'm running a uh, derivative of it. One of my subscribers asked me if I would do a review on Ubuntu, maybe even show off some desktop effects and do a few tutorials on it. And I figured this would be a good opportunity for me to get my feet wet with Ubuntu and see if this is something I'm going to want to run on a regular basis. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to do a review on Ubuntu on Spatry's Cup of Linux. All right, I've got my cup of Linux right here. And we're ready to get started now. I went ahead and I installed Ubuntu 11.10 in my virtual machine. And this is the way I like to test an operating system. I've already installed the guest editions so that we have the nice uh, effects and everything. And if you uh, want to see an installation tutorial, I have videos on my channel that you can watch that shows you how to uh, install Linux on your computer. Um, I didn't feel the need to actually do that in this episode because the installation is identical. Okay, so first we're presented with the with what is called the Unity interface. And this is a little bit different than other Linux distributions. You do have a panel up here which gives you access to a file menu. I think this is kind of neat the way that's set up. And then you have the Ubuntu button. So we'll go ahead and start there. And as you can see, it gives you a list of your shortcuts and a few programs. Now, this is the home page here is your applications page and you can filter them out uh, by the different types by the different buttons that you can toggle right here another nice thing that I like about this is the fact that it gives you applications that are available to download if you want to try them out and most of these are free and additionally it shows you the games that are installed. It, by default, for some reason, it went to games. I was playing around with this earlier. I think the first choice it goes into accessibility. And you can see there are some applications here for that as well. In accessories, we have a number of really nice applications. Uh, that you can use and then there are apps available to download as well. I like this. It looks really cool. Now you're also presented with this sidebar and by default it has some programs already preloaded into it but you can change how this appears simply by navigating into this menu and dragging an item over. So if I use the calculator often I can go ahead and put it here and then it will be readily available on this panel whenever I wish to use it. I think that is a nice feature. In customization, we have other features. You can change the appearance, colors, has a bunch of neat little programs installed in this. Let me see what kind of developer tools they have. By the way, if you're having a hard time uh, reading the text on the screen, please uh, select the high def option and then you can get a better view of this. Okay, and then there's even some educational games. Very nice. Hmm doesn't list anything in fonts. So I guess we need to download some. We've already looked at the games. Let me see what we have for graphics. A document viewer, image viewer, LibreOffice draw, shot well, photo manager. Hmm. I wonder why they didn't install the GIMP on this one. Let's see what they have for internet. Okay, the usual things that you would want to have, desktop sharing, 
a remote desktop viewer, very handy if you're uh, fixing somebody else's computer remotely. Uh, empathy Internet Messaging, Firefox Web Browser, the Gwibber Social Client, Thunderbird, a Transmission BitTorrent, if you like torrenting. Okay, and then uh, we have a nice slew of media players. Banshee, Brazero Desk Burner, I love that program. Uh, the Genome Movie Player and Sound Recorder, of course, you'll definitely want to get VLC, as that one's the best. Okay, and then we have our Office Suite Science and Engineering Programs, and we have System Programs. So there's a little something for everyone that comes preloaded on this. Let's go ahead and close this button out, and we'll have a look at some of the things they have on the side here. We have our LibreOffice Writer. I am a fond fan of this. I have the LibreOffice installed on the Windows machines here in this house, and it works out great for the people that depend on Windows and opening up uh, documents. I would run Linux on all of the computers in the house if I could just get my magic jack to work on it. I'm still looking and researching on a solution for that though. So it looks very nice. I also like the colors and the layout of this as well. I like, I've always liked the human colors but on my personal machine I tend to have a dark side. Okay, very nice. I assume that if we go into the settings, we can change these buttons and move them over to the right. That kind of bothers me having them on the left there, but that's okay. Let's have a look at the Ubuntu Software Center. Now this, it is my understanding, they have done a number of improvements on it, and I'd like to have a look. It is understandably running a little bit slow because of the fact I'm running this in a virtual machine and I have a bunch of other resources running. My CPU is at 99, 100%. So, okay, come on. You're not going to activate for me or what? Open. Thank you. Okay. Let this load up here. Okay, and this is a nice look. Oh, very nice. It even advertises uh, a game that you can purchase. So they have their top rated applications here. You'll definitely want to download some of these. And then they have their standard listing. Very nice. They have tons of educational tools. And the one thing that's really nice about Ubuntu is they do have a large selection of educational tools. So if you want to give your child an edge in school, you can download lots of really good programs uh, that they can work on. And they even include games that the kids can play so that they can have fun while they're learning. Okay, and let's have a look at graphics. That is a common thing that people want to look into. Okay, and very nice. All the top programs that you would want to use are listed here. Let's see what selection they have for games. Gaming is a big thing that uh, a lot of people uh, are afraid to switch to Linux because there's such a poor selection of games, or so they say that they are, but we have shown options for getting some of your Windows games to run under Linux, as well as the fact that there are so many really good games that you can download and install in Linux. And of course you have the games listed by category, and then of course the you have the top rated games listed here. By the way, if you like strategy, this Warzone 2100 game is really cool. You can even go on their website and download all the cutscenes for it. 
I remember when I purchased this game for Windows many years ago, or there was a game quite similar to it, and I had a lot of fun with this. It is difficult, though, so if you're looking for a really good challenge, you might want to check that one out. Okay, so very very nice how they changed the software center. It looks uh, it looks intuitive and uh, looks like it's relatively simple to use. I'm going to click the install button just to see what we have here. Very nice. I like how they lay this out. Shows you everything that you have installed. This is pretty cool. Now, just out of curiosity, I'm interested in knowing how or if this has a menu here. It does. Excellent. Excellent. So I can go into the edit menu, which is on the top bar here. And if I have software sources, let's say I want to add some PPAs so that I can keep my software bleeding edge and fresh up to date. I can do that here. Excellent. And then in other software, it doesn't have very many PPAs loaded into this, but that's okay. In no time I'd have this list filled up with other PPAs for programs that I enjoy using. Very nice. I like the way this is laid out. Let's go ahead and close this, and then we will move on to customization. And we will go into system settings here and uh, see what we have listed in this area. Okay, we can change the appearance. Why don't we play with that? I like how they laid this out. This is kind of cool. All right, let's pick something out. I'd say I'd like to try out the green look. Hmm, beautiful. All right, and let's see what themes we have installed in this. That isn't bad either. Ah, another place to work on your software sources in the system. Very nice. Although I did care for this selection tool down here and there is, aren't very many choices. So I imagine that genomelook.org may have some more uh, customizations available for this. And it would be kind of cool if we could actually change individual aspects of the way the desktop appears, much like you would in the uh, older versions of Ubuntu, where you could change like the window borders, that sort of thing. Take this here again, and we'll see what other options we have here. Okay, and these are just colors and gradients, so we can go in the pictures folder for the background. So this is just indigenous to the background area, and the theme you have a simple drop box. Okay. We'll go ahead and close this. Then down here we have our desktop switcher. I like how this looks. Okay, and then we have a CD drive and a trash can. Okay, my first impressions, this looks pretty cool. Would I use it? I like the way I have my desktop set up now. Plus, I'm also running the kernel uh, that comes with 
uh, Ubuntu 11.10. But the thing is, this might grow on me. I'll try it out a little bit more. I'll have, I'm going to keep this installed and I'm going to play with it. I'm going to see if I can add some effects in a later episode and do some additional customizations. Uh, this looks like a competent operating environment. I still would recommend Zorin OS or Linux Mint if you're new to Linux. But this looks like something that could actually grow on me in time. If you have any questions or comments, please fill out the form below and I'll be happy to answer them. Also, if you go into my channel and you have any show ideas, please uh, list those as well. Hit the like and subscribe buttons. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again next time.